Hey, how's it going? It's Wes here. Uh, sorry for the big wait on the videos. Uh, I've been busy with school and just trying to get my life settled. But uh, uh, I was trying to make a video about uh, shoes because I've been collecting some shoes. I'm a sneakerhead now, to be honest. So I just wanted to show you a bit of my shoes. I'm going to be showing you some of LeBron uh, shoes I got. Why well, I think I want to show them is just because of LeBron winning his championship and all that. So I'm probably just going to show you three of them today and maybe create a part two and part three as I keep on collecting. So yeah, I just wanted to make a bit of an entry into the video. So yeah, let's get right into the video. So for basketball shoes, obviously, like I said, I'm new. So I just been kind of wanting to collect a various amount of sneakers. Obviously, I like Jordans, but just haven't really had the opportunity to get some at the moment, but where I live, obviously there's a really big availability for uh, LeBron's and especially him winning the his fourth championship. Um, you know, these shoes are on the watch and he, these can be the, I'm not saying they are because they're probably not, but can be the next like uh, Jordans. So I think these are smart investments, obviously, because these things can like go for hundreds of dollars and and be a lot more than what you spent for them so these this one right here is the LeBron 12 pure and shine dollar man uh, this is made when he was in Miami right so because of number six and he wore number six in Miami so that's probably around 2000, 2012 yeah, 2012 I believe or 2011 Obviously, when you see the shoe right here, it's just, it's heat, a lot of heat on it. You know, with the metallic green and then the gray, you know, I think it adds a good uh, mixture. Like, it, it's bold, but it's not like in your face kind of bold. Um, you know, some of these shoes can like just have so much color that kind of just like is, becomes really ugly and kind of doesn't want, make you want to buy the shoe. But I think sometimes, you are able to dazzle a shoe, but you just have to have the right variations and the right color choice, and I think they nailed it on this shoe. I like the um, stitching, obviously, with the, I call them the, like a honeycomb-like texture with the blue uh, stitching. And then the bottoms, you got the carbon, I believe that's what it is green and then the bottoms but just colorful like um what are they called pads again if i say the wrong terminology i am sorry but just a colorful bottom and then it has the lebron logo which is obvious and then the bottom like on the back it just has like a little bit of a tag which kind of just describes the shoe and it says Engineered to the exact code sequence of the next generation of athletes, Mr. LeBron James. Um, that has a signature, the number six in the there. Um, my thoughts is I, I, obviously this is a dope shoe, but you know with LeBron um, winning his fourth championship, and you know honestly I think he's gonna win maybe at least one or two more. You know these shoes can go crazy, and I think if I'm anyone sees this video of course to invest in LeBron's or invest in Jordan's or like like obviously look at an NBA player and obviously see if their career is going to go well and if they have shoes like what what are they selling for so I think if you're able to do that it would really help uh, you make investments down the road because like these shoes like I said could be hundreds of dollars over what I just paid for so yeah that's one of my LeBron shoes on to the next okay so the next LeBron shoe we have here is the LeBron 13 Akronites philosophies I believe that's what they're called um, when I saw these shoes I was in love with them um, I've been playing basketball and I haven't worn these but uh, obviously you can wear these as a basketball shoe because of the high top and look of them but I fell in love with the whole look of it um, obviously, with, I kind of call, call it like a Campbell rainbow, just with all the like splash of colors down there, and it kind of has a vibe, see of a, like a camouflage. 
Um, obviously with the like the shield, the shielding or like the, I don't know what these are called on the wrong shoe. I'm calling them shields um, around the shoe on the front, on the side, and then on the, the other side here. Um, you know, th this is real unique. And like I said previously with the other shoe, you know, with a bunch of colors, it can be kind of overwhelming to your eye, but I think the designer of the shoe did a really well job of like uh, compelling the colors uh, equally or just like making them very compatible so it makes it le more enticing for your eye because like I said you buy with your eyes before you anything so obviously right here you got the big uh, Nike swoosh side beautiful front you got the LeBron logo and on the back you got like kind of similar to what the LeBron 12s were with the there's no carbon but like kind of like a silk I honestly don't know what the, the bottom is but I'm, I'm learning I'm learning on issues and you got the hexagons here yeah, these are called hexagons um, on there and obviously these are help good for uh, sticking to the floor for you to shoot play basketball you know, these are cool on the right here as you can see kind of has like a I don't know what it's used for but like I used to scratch it and it's just cool like I don't know what the point of it is but it's kind of a cool thing and uh, it's just there uh, on the back it says 33d no 330 um, again, I'm doing research on these shoes, so I, I may not know every little fact about them, but again, I'm trying to learn. So, and then the back has a LeBron James. Uh, yeah, like honestly, these are cool shoes. Um, the high top, they're not really a big, I don't wear high tops, but due to the like a uh, new love of shoes I might try to wear a pair or two not these but like uh, some simple like Air Force high tops and all that or some Jordans um, I hope you collect more LeBron shoes down the road um, like these are fire and I saw these going on uh, stock X go kicks crew like 700 500 dollars these are more like 400 to be honest so I only paid like a quarter of that so like I said uh, these might go up in value especially with LeBron winning so and I've done hope to be collecting more down the road along with Jordans and all that so yeah and I'm gonna show you one more of my LeBron shoes so this is gonna be the final uh, sh LeBron shoe I'm gonna show you uh, so these are the LeBron 17 Lowe's metallic gold and blacks. Um, these were a quick little pickup. I only paid like, like a hundred bucks for them. They're on sale and that's a key for how I'm able to collect stuff is obviously look for sales and um, all that so you can get more bang for your buck. And uh, you know, honestly, if I had to choose uh, higher lows, I would go with high lows just because so again, I'm just not a high person. I never really wore high ankle sh shoes. Um, but honestly, these are look fire. Obviously, the gold and black and the white, it just really comes to get well together. Um, I'm not gonna lie, these are hard to get on because I have fat feet. Uh, or just like wide feet, so it's really, <laughs> unpleasant to it's more of a task to take put these on but when these are on these look fire um really comfortable like these are the most comfortable LeBrons I've ever really worn and uh obviously the colorway with the swoosh it's kind of like a pl plastic on there um covers it and it's gold so it's nice and the other one on the side um you got the gold uh, LeBron logo Got a signature and uh, what I well find about these low shoes is that they are more like oriented to one side you know the 
know how like normal shoes are just like the middle, like the laces are like down for the middle. Um, these shoes are on the start on the side that the foot is on. So for like this is a right foot shoe, so the start would be on the right side of this, um, and then the left shoe would be on the left side. Uh, it's kind of funky, but I like them. I like the unique feature. The stitching is amazing throughout. There's not like one little stitch that is off on these. Um, and then on the bombs, it's cool. You know, you got this more of like a wavy like texture to them. And then you got the this uh, pad with the LeBron signature on it. You got the boost with the, the Air Max, Air Max boost. And yeah, it's just, it's a really good looking shoe. Um, these go for like a little bit more than what I paid for them. Uh, I'm not gonna be too worried because uh, like you said, like I said previously is that these shoes will probably go up a little bit more because of LeBron's championship. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much gonna be it for the video. If I had to really emphasize anything of what to uh, do if you want to collect as well is obviously you know know what you can do with the money um, look at what's available you know you gotta know what's available to buy you can't just buy ordinary sneakers you gotta find stuff that you know can be popular or you know you can make a profit of and that goes to my other point is you gotta make a profit um, there's no point of selling a sneaker and selling it for the same price you know if you're able to make like a 30 40 maybe 50 bucks off a sneaker and resell them, you know, it's worth it. Um, you know, hopefully down the road you're able to make multiple deals throughout the day. Um, and yeah, I will be making more videos about my shoe collection. Uh, you know, it's obviously, it's pretty small to be honest. I've been selling some and uh, obviously with the, I have no job right now, so you gotta be able to be careful what you bought purchase. Uh, and it's gonna, that's going to be more of like Air Force Ones and Air Maxes and, you know, maybe some Adidas. I'm trying to get some more Adidas as well. And hopefully I get a Jordan in the near future. I'm really hoping. Maybe some Ones or Fours. I'm one either one of those. So, um, thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.